Okay, so g'day and welcome back to Gumadi's Coins of Bagnets. And if you want to do display capture, wow, look at me. I feel so warm. So, in today's video, what we're going to do is I want to try and answer this question. So, I've got 1920 penny. I was just watching another guy who said that no dot was the rarest coin of all so 1920 pennies they have different dots so if you come to coins in australia it gives you a list and it gives you values so these are catalog values probably also supplemented with uh, uh extra values probably sold on ebay more than likely but you can see that the Looking at is no dot. No dot is not as expensive as double dot or even the English uh, reverses, obverses, should I say. Uh, then you got dot above top scroll. So the common ones have the dot below, dot above scroll, but they have the Indian obverse and it goes down here gives you some information so this is a good website so if you want to know what the indian and the english obverse are so this is the obverse of the effigy so the indian it just has the n pointing to identical the english has the n pointing to in between identicals and the mintage figures for these so 1920 for all varieties we have 9,041,000. Now, class these as varieties because it looks like that they were probably deliberately done. Uh, probably uh, as a type of mint mark or even just trials or something like that. The, the position of the dots is uh, too uniform to actually be uh, an error. So, uh, we go to eBay. We've got nine and twenty pennies. We want to just see what type of coins we come across. Okay, so we've got a few. We'll see what the f no, not half penny. Okay, we'll see what the first four come up as. And we can't really tell. So O M N. We were looking at the end it is point to identical or not no. this one we can't really tell anything so we zoom in looks like a no dot variety so maybe it has a dot but it's too too worn to actually notice and yeah, we can't really tell anything about that. Okay, so that one's no good. Okay, here we have one for a hundred dollars. It says double dot variety. Okay, I can see a dot up the top. Okay, so we got dot up the top. We can see around there, and looks like because we can see the dot. Even the photo's not that good. The dots are pretty stand out on this one. And this is the Indian. So, double dot. Okay. Four of them I was just going to put Indian in English. Because we don't know. Okay. Okay, we've uh, just got one in here. So, this looks like looks like a okay dot above bottom scroll we want to see it's too worn to see what identical yeah i can't really tell on that but it is a dot above bottom scroll so i'm just going to say it's just a common variety so in indian uh because the obverse has come from India, or they're based on Indian coins. 
Okay, 460. Uh, let's see what it says. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, Melbourne Mint. Okay. We can't tell. But I can see it's Indian. So, but I can't tell if there's any dots. It's part of it's just too poor. So we're not going to worry about that one. But we know it's an Indian, so it's just a common. Obverse. Okay. Look. Look at these are the good photos you'll probably want to uh, assess your coins. So do next four. And you can probably you need to actually get a representative sample, you need to actually do a lot. I've only got three so far. So this one can't see any dots on that one. And it is a Indian. So I'm gonna put no dot Indian. Next one. Yeah, oh, it looks like dot below. And it's Indian. Okay, dot below bottom scroll. And we have another one. Might be a dot above. Yeah, dot above bottom scroll. And there you go. We are oh, Indian. Okay. Above. That's two for that one. Two for that one. Okay, so the next one we have uh no dot variety. Okay. No dot and Indian. So far at the moment we've got three no dots. And we have let's go to the next one. We'll try and choose photos that we can probably see pretty good coins. Okay, so this one No dot variety. Okay, so I'm going to put that as a no. And Indian. Another no dot. Still got to get used to that. That one. Can't really tell. But it is an Indian. You can come across any English. So that's, that's a bit strange. What did they have? Okay, just gonna put no dot. So I know this does get boring, but this is a good way to actually clear up what we are looking for. Looks like no dot. Dot above looks like. It looks like a dot below. Okay, so you've got three varieties. Dot below, dot above, and Indian, Indian, can't tell that might be English, okay, so that one is below, and English, so one of these scarcer ones you I want to get dot above and Indian, so pretty common. It looks like no dot and also Indian. Okay, so that's at the moment we have no dot, we've got six, we've got double dot, we've got one dot below, bottom scroll, we've got two uh, dot above, top scroll, we've got one. Dot above bottom scroll, we've got three. So most of them have been no 
no dots at the moment. Could also be that they've been damaged and worn. This one looks like a no dot. And in the description's got no dot. And it's also Indian. Okay, so this doesn't look good for the scarcity of no dot coins. And if you're in doubt about this, I uh, won't worry about that. I can see that the photo is not that good. Uh, then do this yourself and send me the results that you actually show. Uh, so I might actually do quite a few of these. Okay, so this one, it's a bit hard to tell, but I think no dot. And I can't tell with that, but I think I might be okay. Uh, dot on top scroll. If you go dot on top scroll, you need better photos than this. Okay, so no, I can't really tell. If you want to sell something for 250, you really need better photos than that. Okay. Double dot. So that's why this is probably not selling because the photos are just too bad. I just white Sydney. I'd, I'd expect you to actually be in a professional coin shop. You'd put better photos than this on a high value coin. But I just white Sydney. I've had no problem. With them. So I have no problem with their judgment. Okay. So. Double dot and it's dot above top scroll. That's where your reputation comes in. You need a good reputation to dispel any of the uh, haters out there. Okay, this is uh Indian and I don't see any dots on that. So I'm just gonna put that down as Indian. No dot. Okay, so most of the coins, or at least half of them, have been no dot at the moment. Okay, no nineteen twenty in that one. Let's go to other nineteen twenties. I can see the dot above. That scroll. Okay, so what was the that doesn't say. Okay. So it's a dot below bottom scroll. And okay, this is a double dot variety. And it is Indian. So there's three for double dots at the moment. So obviously they're not too scarce. 5,000. A bit too much for that. Okay. This one, the above bottom scroll, you yeah, can see that there. And it is a, looks like a Indian. Okay, so that's free for that one, dot above bottom scroll. Okay, so yeah, another dot above bottom scroll. And, but I can't tell what it is. Just put it as a normal, uh, more common Indian variety. Okay, here we have a, whole, a few coins, obviously. Okay, looks like no dot. Maybe dot above bottom scroll. That one we can't tell. And if you look at this side. Indian, Indian, that one's a bit hard to tell, so dot below, Indian, uh, and no dot, Indian, okay, maybe I should actually screen those out, okay, okay, dot above, okay, double dot, what that one is, so as you can see, 1920 pennies are not too scarce. They're fairly common, not too hard to get. And 
This one's a bit. Obviously, it's graded, but PCGS. So a lot of people are going to believe what they say. So because it's PCGS, I would just go with what they say. And yeah, it's just in the Indian variety. Okay, so a double dot. This one, they did 9 and 20. That don't see any dots on that. No. And it is a, looks like an Indian. Okay, so that's 10 for that one. Okay, well, this one's actually quite a good photo. Okay, it's just Indian variety. And it's only a dot in that one. Okay, so no dot in the end. Wow. Got the 11. It's beaten all the, beaten all the rest so far. Okay. Yeah. Dot below. Okay. Sort of. Could also be damage. And in the end. So we put dot below. Looks like it, it actually is. And we have another four. These photos look pretty good. What is it? Up above, bottom scroll. You can quite clearly see that. Looks like Indian. Go above, get to that five. Then we have another one which didn't want to actually pop up. Right. Let's see how to try this one. So, uh, English. So, this is in English. And So like a no dot variety. Okay, it's the first time we come across no dot with a English obverse. So it's a bit worn, maybe the, the actual dot's been damaged. Okay. Indian. It looks like a dot below. Okay, that one's pretty uh, good. This one you Looks like Indian, and it says dot above. So, if you want to do research yourself, then this is a good way to do it, especially if you want to know what varieties of coins come across. But the thing is, is that when you actually grab these coins, uh, they're going to eventually disappear if they're sold. Uh, they will disappear, or maybe they would actually take them off. Okay, looks like no dot. Then I haven't, haven't come across any. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this one was a no dot. It's Indian. Okay, so dot above, dot below, you can quite clearly see the dots on that one. So even though it's well circulated, you can a lot of the time the dots just don't disappear. And it's at the end, so it's a double dot. So I've come across five so far of those ones. They seem to be a lot more common in dot above bottom scroll. Okay. Any 1920 here? No. Don't ever worry about that one. Already checked that. Okay, it's a dot below. Okay, so oh here's a double dot. Quite clearly see that. Photos. And 
hard to tell. Can't really tell if that is. Come on. Okay. Okay. I haven't seen any dots on that one. I can't tell that. No. That's not going to be any useful. That's also top below. Yep. Yeah, Indian. So five. So five of those ones. Okay. That's Indian. There's a double dot. Indian. Up above bottom scroll seems to be the scarcest. Okay, so basically, I think I'll finish that now. Uh, obviously, you got a lot more. Maybe try this one. Dot between, okay, on the bottom scroll. And Indian. Okay, so uh, anyway, let's have a look at the numbers that I actually come up with. So this is what I got. We have no dot variety. We've got 12 for Indian, one English. Okay, double dot variety. We've got Indian, we've got six. Okay, dot below bottom scroll for Indian, we've got six. For English, we've got one. For the dot above top scroll, we've got six. All Indian. For the dot above bottom scroll, we only got three for Indian. So obviously. The most common ones that we come across are no dot varieties. Now, whether those are pretty damaged coins, but as we can see on these ones, uh, you can quite clearly see the dots because um, the dots don't seem to wear away as readily as uh, other parts of the coin. Okay, so yeah, no dot variety. So this is probably based on previous research, which probably didn't have the availability of coins that we do now. So there's very few people probably do this type of research. What you need to do is you need to get a bulk lot of you know of these penny coins. Uh, this one. No way. Okay, so you need to get a bulk lot of these coins. You know, not just the small sample that I've got here, uh, but probably a good start. Probably be about a hundred coins. If you can get five hundred. To a thousand, yeah, that would be great. Give you a more, oh, sorry, representative sample, and it will be the more coins you have, the more accurate it's going to be. But obviously, this without buying those, uh, this is probably the easiest way to do it. It's just to go, obviously, on eBay, just click on all these coins and this is dot above bottom scroll and just see how many there are because uh, these days this is a tool in which we can actually realistically see if these values are correct so it looks like this coin here preliminary 
is a lot more common than the dot below bottom scroll. So I'm not too sure where they get the values for how common these coins are. So if anyone knows, please leave a link down or even just comment down below. And have an awesome coin and back no collecting time. Thank you and